Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you a game between International Master Man Alexandru and Grandmaster Dag Bogdan Daniel. This game was played in Romania Super League from 2018 round 3. Let's see the game. White started with d4, knight to f6, c4, e6, allowing the dark square bishop to develop, knight to f3, developing another piece, avoiding knight to c3 and bishop to b4 and we would have the Nimzo Indian defense. d5, attacking white center, developing another piece in the opening we should develop our knights before our bishops. Black to c 4 releasing the tension from the center and only white has a pawn in the center. This move is known as Vienna game. e3, a pawn move that allows the light square bishop to develop and take the pawn, but the drawback is that the dark square bishop remains locked behind his Pawns. Black needs to continue the development of his knight or his light square bishop, and for this he can play c5, knight to c6, or b6 and put the light square bishop on the long diagonal. In the game, he played a6, intending to play b5, protecting his extra pawn. White prevents this with a4, b6, next is bishop to b7, and white took the pawn bishop to b7. White king is safe, bishop to b4, both players developed three minor pieces so far, and white played queen to b3, attacking the bishop, defending, bishop to b5, check, knight bd7, blocking the check, white would love to develop his dark square bishop on the most four square on g5, but white would need to push e4 which is impossible due to the knight and the bishop which are controlling this square. So in the game white prepared the development of the bishop by neutralizing black pieces that control this square. So he continued with knight to e5, short castle, knight to c4, attacking the queen and the bishop. Black has to take the knight because if the queen runs from the attack, white will take the bishop and win a pawn. So bishop takes, bishop takes, attacking the rook, rook to c8, and white needs to continue his development and bring his least active piece into the game or restrict opponent development, or white can try to neutralize opponent pieces that stands in his territory. In the game, white played f4, preventing black to play e5, queen to e7, and with this move, black finishes opening, knight to a2, attacking the bishop, Knight to b8, counter attacking, white bishop, white took, black recapture, bishop to b7 attacking the rook, rook c to d8, and bishop to f3. Black was threatening to play c6, trapping the bishop. As we can see in this position, white has the two bishops, while black has the two knights. So white should open the position for his bishops. Black continue with c5, attacking white center, bishop to d2, finally white finishes opening, if black takes on d4, white will take on b4, attacking the queen and the rook and he will get the exchange. In this position white should attack black weaknesses, which is in our case the pawn from b6. Another idea for white is to take on d5 and after black recapture he will have a pass pawn on the a file. Looking at white pieces, he needs to improve the position of his rooks and for this he can bring the rooks on c and d files. Black played queen to a7, placing the queen on the same diagonal with white king, rook f to d1, bringing the least active piece into the game, defending the bishop. Another way for black was to go forward with the knight to e4, attacking the bishop. Black cannot take on d4 due to bishop takes on b4, attacking the rook. So in the game he played queen to a5, queen to c4, putting pressure on c5. This pawn is attacked twice, rook to d7. It seems that black wants to double on the d file and white took on c5. Black recapture, bishop to e1, attacking the rook. Black took and rook takes on d1. By taking on d1, black assured that he can take on a4, which happened in the game, but white took on c5, attacking b4 for a second time. Material situation in this position is equal and uh, white should concentrate on attacking this weak pawn. 
black played knight to d5, defending this pawn. Another way was to push the pawn to b3. Why continue with rook to c1, moving away from the queen attack, and white wants to eliminate the knight and then take the pawn. Black continue with knight to a6, defending the pawn and attacking the queen. Queen to d4, white threatens to take on d4, winning a pawn, and black prevents this with queen to b5. f5, black cannot take because his knight will be lost. In the game he played h6, a move that controls g5 square, but black could have activated his rook by putting it on d4. With this uh, h6 move, we can see that black has a backward pawn on g7. That can be attacked for a second time with the Dorsker bishop by putting it to g3 and then to e5. White implemented this plan and he played bishop to g3, knight to f6, bishop to e5, attacking the knight for a second time and uh, black took on f5, ignoring white threat. Instead, he could have played knight to e8, defending the pawn, not allowing white to ruin his pawn structure in front of his king. White took on f6, black recaptured, and white took with the queen, and he's looking at the a6 pawn. Black continued with knight to b8, trying to bring the knight closer to the king, but white took the pawn. If white manages somehow to bring his rook on the h file, and before give a check with the queen on the g file, he will mate black king. In the game, black played queen to e5, and this is a mistake. If you want to find the drawback of this move, please pause the video and find the move played by white by yourself. On the initial position on b5, the queen was controlling c4 square, and in this position, the queen does not control this, and now the rook can go to c4 and then go to the king side. White gave a check on g5, king to h8. Another way was to put the queen on g7, trying to exchange queens. White played rook to c4, and in this position black resigned. He cannot prevent rook to h4 without losing his queen. A possible continuation would be queen to g7, rook to h4 check, king to g8, queen takes on a5, threatening rook to g4, and black is losing the queen. So we can stop here. Before ending this video, I want to repeat an announcement that I've done on my last video. As you all know, this month I've made one year since I've edited my first video on YouTube, and next month Christmas is coming. So I want to give you a brand new chessboard with pieces that are placed inside the tube. This chessboard has plastic pieces of Staunton type, vinyl table, very resistant and easy to carry. This chessboard was purchased from Magazine de Chach. In order for you to get this price, you need to do two things. One, subscribe to my YouTube channel and two, add a comment to any game that I've uploaded with your favorite chess game. It can be your own chess game and also you can add as many comments as you want because every comment enters the competition. The winner will be chosen using random.org site and it will be announced before Christmas. So this was the game between International Master Mani Alexandru and Grandmaster Deak Bogdan Daniel. I hope you found this video useful, please watch other games from my channel and leave some comments and suggestions in the comments section. See you next time, bye!